What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk more about the data mine which dropped yesterday and some other interesting things I have discovered which I didn't cover in yesterday's video. But before we get into that people, on this video I am giving away some epic loot. I have exclusive emblem and sparrow calls, gift cards and much more. To win some simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description. Okay, so there is a little hint, people, at a fourth energy within the game. Basically, what indeed could mean a fourth subclass. Here is what Ikora Ray states. What if there's a fourth energy, void, solar, arc, and what? I sometimes tire of all these threes. So right there, Ikora Ray is hinting at a fourth energy, which will basically mean one thing, a fourth subclass and it must be in the works or at least have been thought about. So what could a fourth subclass represent energy wise? In my opinion, it could only be the darkness. Kind of like Ace Mon and how she has been touched by the darkness, but has learned to control it. That in my opinion, not only would make some kind of sense, but it would be an amazing addition to the story and us finding and using this so-called darkness. I remember speculation of a dark subclass before the release of Destiny 2. People speculated about how a fourth subclass would and should work. Maybe, just maybe. All that speculation was triggered by something they saw or heard, who knows. And if there is one in the works, or already planned for us to dive deep into, I bet the darkness would be that very energy for sure. And I cannot wait to learn more. Okay, so moving on and something else I find seriously interesting from these audio files are two named new speaker. Now we all think the speaker died at the hands of Ghoul. There is a scannable item within the tower which states he's dead, but is he? Heidi of the new monarchy has these two voice lines. With Savala taking such a firm lead against the Red Legion, I wonder where the speaker's attention is focused. And he also states, is the speaker even human? Not that it matters, I've just always wondered. What's interesting here is word of the speaker isn't spoke in a past sense. He is spoke about as in he has returned or been replaced. The thing is, I actually don't think he has died. We actually didn't see his death, we saw him fall. It could easily have been misinterpreted. Now it might be thought that the speaker is dead, but what if he actually isn't? What if he is still alive? And the story of this hits with the first or second DLC. Who knows, but if he is dead, who is the speaker Hydeo speaks of? Seriously interesting stuff. Moving on and on to what's said about Shiro 4, as it seems he might be making a return. Shiro is a vanguard scout who in Destiny 1 was located within the Iron Temple. Within these audio files he's mentioned by Cade. He states, I've been places and done things which will turn your ghost inside out, but Guardian, I'll tell you, the reports Shiro is sending back to me are, wow. He also states, next time you are up Shiro's way, pop a couple of Vex in the juice box and tell him Kate sent you. So Kate speaks of Shiro in a sense of us seeing him or visiting him. This actually comes as no surprise to me as I expected him to make a return sooner or later because nothing really has been said about him. So yes guys, some seriously interesting things to discuss here. Let me know your opinion on what I've mentioned down below people. Also, I will have another video later on covering future events coming in Destiny 2, so stay tuned for that video later. But yeah guys, let me know what you think about what I've covered today. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe and hopefully I will see you on my next video. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I. Get around